In just a short span of five years, the foldable revolution has given rise to two distinct camps. While some power users have discovered their dream devices in the OnePlus Open or Google Pixel Fold, there are others who prefer to downsize their smartphones rather than maximize them. This is where clamshells come into play. Over the past year, we've witnessed the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Motorola Razr, plus bringing full app experiences to outer displays while housing large folding panels within. And the excitement doesn't stop there. Brace yourself for an even more impressive lineup in 2024. The highly anticipated Galaxy Z Flip 6 is scheduled for an official unveiling sometime this year, and rumors about the company's next flippable foldable are already circulating. Whether you're eager to embrace a new form factor or looking to upgrade from an older model, we've got you covered with everything you need to know about the Galaxy Z Flip 6. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 didn't bring a complete overhaul to the series, but Samsung did make a significant change with its expansive front display. The Flex window cover screen offers a range of smartwatch-like widgets and the convenience of running essential apps through good lock. This means you can keep the device closed for most tasks, addressing one of the major concerns with this form factor. As for the Galaxy Z Flip 6, early renders suggest that Samsung isn't making any drastic changes. Clamshell phones have their limitations, unlike the Galaxy Z Fold series, which could benefit from a design revamp in 2024. However, the improvements made in the Galaxy Z Flip 5 should satisfy most fans for a couple of years. That being said, there is still room for enhancement. A larger flex window display would greatly enhance the user experience. If Samsung can expand beyond its current borders, users will enjoy a better app experience compared to the Flip 5. While the overall design is satisfactory, it would be great to see Samsung return to a matte finish to prevent fingerprint smudges. Unfortunately, it's uncertain whether the bigger screen will be a reality, and we'll have to wait for leaks to confirm details about its glass finish. We hope Samsung will make significant changes to its hinge once again. Although the Z Flip 5 was the first of Samsung's products to fold flat, it still has a noticeable crease, unlike OnePlus and Motorola phones. Samsung has been complacent for too long, and it's time to push development forward. As for the next generation of Samsung's foldables, the company is working on making them dustproof and obtaining IP68 certification. However, it may take some time before this goal is achieved, based on the company's previous remarks on dustproofing. Specs are a whole different ballgame, not because we have insider information, but because Samsung tends to follow a predictable pattern in this regard. For the North American models, you can expect a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, 8 gigs of RAM, and a base storage capacity of 256 gigs. On the international front, similar to the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus, Samsung might introduce the Exynos 2400 to power the Galaxy Z Flip 6, marking a first for their foldable devices. By the way, if Samsung is listening, we'd absolutely love to see a 1TB version of the Flip 6. While a larger battery seems like an obvious improvement, we're disappointed to hear that faster charging speeds won't be part of the package. On a brighter note, it seems like Samsung's next-gen foldable will come in some fresh new colors. According to industry consultant Ross Young, the Galaxy Z Flip 6 will be available in light blue, light green, silver, and yellow. It's refreshing to see a departure from the usual black or white options, but we're hoping for even more colors as exclusive offerings on Samsung.com. Although we anticipate the arrival of the Galaxy Z Flip 6 in late summer, which is typically when new Android versions are released, this phone won't come with Android 15 out of the box. Instead, buyers will enjoy Android 14 and One UI 6.1, with a quick upgrade to Google's new OS version once it's ready for prime time. As for One UI 7, it remains a mystery for now, but it will bring the first major update to the Flip 6 in late 2024. We can expect it to come packed with Galaxy Eye features, just like we've seen on other Samsung flagships in 2024. Speaking of upgrades, Samsung is expected to fulfill its promises on the Galaxy S24 lineup by providing seven years of OS upgrades and security patches. That should keep buyers satisfied until 2031, assuming the hardware remains reliable, of course. Samsung's foldable phones have never been praised for their camera capabilities, and this is especially true for their clamshell lineup. The Galaxy Z Flip 6 doesn't seem to offer any improvements in this area either. The limited space in the Z Flip series doesn't allow for larger sensors, which are necessary for better camera performance. 
Unless Samsung completely redesigns the phone or adds an awkward camera bump like OnePlus, it's unlikely that the hardware will see any significant upgrades. However, that doesn't mean the Z Flip 6 won't bring new software tricks to the table. One of the phone's standout features is its flexibility when it comes to shooting from unique angles. Samsung has heavily emphasized this in their advertisements. It's possible that the company will introduce new software features to enhance the photography experience, but we'll have to wait and see what they have in store for 2024. Considering the focus on AI tricks with the Galaxy S24 series, there's a chance for some exciting additions. As for the release date, you can expect the Galaxy Z Flip 6 to debut alongside its larger sibling in July, possibly earlier than last year's smartphones. Samsung is known for its punctuality when it comes to product launches, so we don't anticipate any surprises in that regard. In terms of pricing, it's unlikely that Samsung will exceed the $1,000 mark for this phone. Keeping the price within the triple-digit range is crucial for the growth of the foldable market, especially with competitors like Motorola offering alternatives for as low as $500 during sales. These phones are still considered premium devices, and it wouldn't be surprising if Samsung continues in that direction. While there are still uncertainties about Samsung's future clamshell devices, rest assured that we'll likely have a good idea of what to expect before any official announcements. With months to go until the launch, I'll keep you updated on any new information. In the meantime, if you're in the market for a foldable phone, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 is definitely worth considering. It's a fantastic device in its own right and one of the best options available. So overall, the Samsung Galaxy Flip 6 is looking like a great phone that brings with it plenty of upgrades over the previous model with new cameras, better displays. In all of the new AI features, it should really improve at the general usability of the phone, and a bigger cover display along with a much brighter inner display is a great improvement to an already popular series. While it has all of these upgrades, it is still relatively similar to its predecessor. So this means anyone with the Z Flip 5 probably isn't gonna be rushing for an upgrade, but for anyone with an older Flip or looking to get their first Flip, then the Flip 6 is gonna be a great choice. Now, of course, it's still quite away from the official launch, and we're no doubt can get more and more leaks as we approach it, and of course, I'll be sharing them as soon as they come in. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. Now, let's shift our focus to the upcoming Galaxy Flip 6 from Samsung. One aspect that has caught the attention of tech enthusiasts is the increase in battery size. As we eagerly await the official details, we would love to hear your thoughts on this matter. Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. For more updates, don't forget to check out our channel. Until next time, take care and peace out.